today on our show meet the celebrities of ancient india we have with us dr veda vyas author of india's biggest literary magnum opus the mahabharata welcome to our show dr veda vyas thank you dr vyas you seem to have changed a lot with uh, your uh, designer shirts or your clean shaven face or your jeans uh, you know if you uh, lived as long as i have mm-hmm. you have to change with the times i mean i have lived for about 8000 years now so it's only in keeping with the times that i have changed but by the way don't dispense with all this uh, veda vyas business you call me dr vv or just simply vv that will be cool. yeah sure that's uh, pretty cool uh, uh, now talking about mahabharata it has been years or i would say rather millennia mm-hmm. since uh, you wrote it what do you feel about it now uh, you know the mahabharata even back then was uh, way too cool for its time i mean mm-hmm. here we had uh, competing men playing casino style games for uh, determining who won the kingdom we mm-hmm. had uh, uh, women marrying multiple men i think here you are alluding to the pandavas yes the uh, you have you've read it i see yeah, uh, sure. we had women marrying multiple men which which even for then was rather out there uh-huh. uh people had out of a bed of roses but uh, i i thought that was cliche i threw it right out i introduced an element of freshness by bringing in a bit of arrows you know the one on which bishma dies on the mm-hmm. battlefield yeah uh, i mean i could go on now but uh, i am being modest i won't indulge in this talk yeah you are very evidently modest yes. so. but uh, what critics say about mahabharata is that uh, although it is a wonderful story mm-hmm. but it's the length of the work is pretty daunting it's about 24000 verses what do you have to say about it well i know uh, you know mm, when you have a story which is as uh, well rounded as the mahabharata or when you have character is completely baked mm-hmm. uh, the story does tend to become a bit long uh, take for instance the character of uh, what do you call arjuna mm-hmm. uh, now here was a person who grew up like any other boy he perfected the art of bird watching under his guru's careful tutelage mm-hmm. uh, he then uh, shared his love with his brothers i think here again you are alluding to the pandavas here yes you've read it again i see no it's only uh, one side thing yes uh, so he shared his love with his brother which was you know not quite conforming with his eye jays but i mm-hmm. left that in just to mm-hmm. you know the audience was more liberal back yeah. so he also married a woman for himself mm-hmm. he went hiking with his brothers and then before fighting in the war he became a eunuch for some time which was another aspect of uh, freshness mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then in the end he won the war with tact and cunning with any politician i mean wow what a stunning war yeah this is quite uh, stunning indeed yes uh mahabharata being such a huge book uh, obviously there would be many wonderful stories in it but which part of the book did you uh, like the most as a writer the ramayana jk rowling the author of the now very popular harry potter mm-hmm. series uh, i think you would be knowing her yes. uh, said that ending the harry potter series was more painful to her than her divorce What did you feel about ending Mahabharata? I have never divorced my wife. You are quite witty, sir. Um, now, uh, moving on. Uh, your Mahabharata book was such a huge uh, success. Uh, That I was a runaway was a, success. Yeah, yes. it, it was a bestseller probably then. Yes. Uh, but why didn't you go on and write another book? But I had conceptualized another short narrative of about a thousand pages. Uh-huh. But uh, Ganapati was not ready to type it out. Pretty uh, sad. Uh, moving on. Tell us about your childhood. Hi, I won. Okay. So what do you do in your free time these days? I play sudoku and mind sudoku. It was a pleasure to talk to you, Dr. Vyas. Thanks for being with us this evening. 